Watch your breath for a bit, and then watch it again. Watch it again. Pay attention to your breathing. And keep at it. It's the keeping at it that makes the meditation develop. Otherwise, the breath is just one more thing you can look at. You can listen to the birds. You can look at the sky. You can watch your breath. You can think about something else. You can wander around. You don't want just one more thing to wander to. You want something on which you can base your sense of who you are, where you are right now, and what you're doing right now. You want to be coming from a position of strength, a position of well-being. So you can work with the breath. This is one of the reasons why we use the breath as an object. Because of the processes in the body, it's one of the few that you can actually control. So see what use you can make out of that control, how you can make the breath more comfortable, how you can make it soothe the nerves of the body. Because when we talk about the breath, it's not just the air coming in and out of the lungs, it's the energy flow through the body. And you can focus on that anywhere in the body. And if it's tight in any part of the body, okay, it's related to the breath. You can breathe through it. Make the breath your cure for the, all the patterns of tension that you tend to carry around. And then when you're living in a body, it feels a lot better. Then the mind is in a much better mood. And you're much more likely to want to do and say and think what you know you should do. Because so many times we know the right thing, but we don't feel like it. We feel like it's... The world is too much of a burden on us, so that we're distracted by too many things. Well, that's because we've got too many things that we find interesting. But you look at a lot of the stuff out there in the world, and it can hold your interest for a moment, but it can't really hold it all that long. Try to find something that really is central to your awareness, which is the breath right now, your sense of the body right here, right now. This is what holds you in this world. So take care of this. Make this your first priority. And things outside that will come and find their right places. And the things that you can change outside, things you can't change outside, you'll see these things a lot more clearly. You can focus your interest and attention on things that you can make, where you can make a difference. So it's like getting back into balance after you've been out of balance for a while. You want to get into balance right here in the present moment, comfortably with the breath. Make this the center of your attention. And none of the things that you have to do with dealing with other people, okay, they can come from a good place. This way your life becomes a much better life, both for you and the people around you. And instead of going out and trying to find pleasures outside because there's nothing in, in the house, we've got plenty of good things here in the house. It'll keep you well nourished. It'll keep you profitably occupied. That can cure your illnesses. It's all right here inside the body and the mind, right here in the present moment. It's just learning how to get your focus established here and keep your gyroscope here, so you don't go leaning off out into the, in the world outside too much. You want to be balanced right here, and when you're balanced here, everything else falls into place. <laughs>